Hey and what's up guys? Welcome back to another amazing video from Team Supreme Gamers. I'm your host Ghostface, and this is our official guide on how to multi-boot Phoenix OS and other Android x86 OS's using Grub to win. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can install multiple versions of Phoenix OS in your system using Grub to win. You can also use this method to multi-boot any other Android x86 OS, like Prime OS or even Bliss OS. So just follow the steps carefully to avoid any issues during install. And if you face any problems regarding this, just come to our Discord server and we'll be glad to help you out. Now let's begin the installation process. First of all, you need the ISO files of the OS that you want to install. And you'll also need to install some third-party software to help you out with this. So first of all, open your browser and download grub to win setup installer from SourceForge. If you guys are facing issues with grub to win installer, then just click this auto update option and download the latest grub INST file from here. Now download Paragon Linux File System for Windows software from the Paragon website. This is the latest version of Paragon EXT FX and works well with Windows 10. Now let's try to install grub to win using the EXE installer and see if it works. As you can see, it gives this error message many times. To avoid this, we need to use this auto updater file that we just downloaded. Just rename the file and add .7z at the end of the file, then you can extract it to install it manually. Now make sure to run the setup script as admin, and the installation pop-up will appear Click Next to complete the installation. Grub to Win will auto launch after the setup is complete. If not, then make sure to disable your Windows Defender before you install. So here's your default Grub to Win user interface. You can change the screen resolution according to your monitor, and also change its default theme and background wallpaper from here. After that, we need to fix this orange warning message here. If you are a legacy MBR user, you won't see this EFI boot customization menu. You might also get this in red, which means your grub to win EFI modules are not installed properly. To fix that, just click on the, the button here and choose Refresh GNU Grub Modules. Make sure your system doesn't have any other EFI partition or disk because it might get confused while mounting the correct drive. After that, you'll need to restart Grub to win. So now we're back again, and let's quickly get rid of this orange message here. Now it turns into green. If you get this green message box, then you are good to go. Now let's install Paragon software. In this guide, we are using the latest version of Paragon Linux file system, which is a 10 day trial version. But it does the job, and it also has less bugs compared to the older 4.2 version that we use in Dark Matter. Now all we need to do is create ext4 partitions and copy files to it. For this installation, I'm going to use ESUS Partition Master instead of Disk Genius. It's very simple and easy to use, and some people face problems in making ext4 partitions in Disk Genius, which is not present in this software. 
Just make sure you buy or activate this software to access its full features. Now all I need to do is make two EXT4 partitions and then copy files to it. Keep in mind, if you are a legacy user, you can only make four primary partitions. So it'd be better if you convert your MBR drive to GPT first. Links for that video guide are given in the description. And if your system doesn't support UEFI GPT boot, then just make one EXT4 drive and copy both OS's to it. One more thing I like to do is disable the auto mount feature of Paragon and format the EXT4 drives using Paragon because it reduces the chances of making bad EXT4 drives which might give errors during the copy and paste process. Now we just need to mount the Phoenix OS drive and copy files from the Phoenix OS ISO file. To do so, I prefer to use 7-zip file manager because it can extract the system image file from the system FSS, which reduces the first boot time of the OS. Now if you want to multi-boot two or more Android x86 OS's, then you should never install them on the root drive since when you boot the OS, it'll search all the partitions and boot using the first partition which has the Android x86 image. So to avoid, just make a new folder in your ext4 drive with non-similar names and copy files to it. After the copying process is complete, you need to make a placeholder for your grub entries here, which will help grub define your root drive. And make sure to uncheck this option to make your files extension visible. Now just make a data folder to store all your data files. Now let's mount the second drive and do the same process for it. Okay, so now all you need to do is configure grub to win according to your installation. Open grub to win and add a new boot entry. Choose the type to custom code and the title to Phoenix OS. Change these other settings if you want, then click edit custom code. Here we can copy and paste the grub code from our Phoenix OS dark matter grub code. Just copy these three lines and copy them to the grub to win notepad. Now change grub code according to your install location. Press Ctrl plus S to save the changes and close the grub to win notepad. Click apply to save the changes. Now add another entry for Prime OS. You can use the same dark matter grub configurations for Prime OS too, since they both are an Android x86 OS and the booting process is also similar. Just make changes in it according to your install location and then save and apply the configuration.
After this, all you need to do is verify your ext4 partitions before booting into the OS, and make sure you don't get any errors. Now just reboot your OS and check your grub to win boot entries. If you don't get this screen, then you might need to change your BIOS settings and put grub to win boot entry above the Windows Boot Manager. As you can see here, all of our multi-boot entries are present. And if you follow the steps carefully, then you'll be able to boot into Phoenix OS and Prime OS without any issues. So I'm not going to show you the desktop of each OS because then this video will get too long. So just try this yourself and if you get any errors during the installation, just come to our Discord server and we'll be happy to help you out. So that's all from me guys. Take care of yourselves and stay home, stay safe. As always, like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cool videos like this one. Thank you for watching, I'm your host Ghostface, and I'll catch you in the next one.